All right, guys, welcome to my last video. This is a bonus video. This is just a little time saver that I really like to use inside of my ClickFunnels account. I'm going to show you how you can create a saved footer that you can use at the bottom of all of your funnels that you create without having to redo it every time you create a new funnel or create a new page. You can also use it for other parts of uh, funnel pages as well. It's really, really useful, and I think you'll get a lot of use out of it. So follow along while I show you how to set this up. So basically, if you are, if you have uh, only a few funnels left in your account, you're running short on space. I would recommend doing this just as a separate page inside of one of your existing funnels. Um, you can do that very easily. We, I can show you that later. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you how to do it from a brand new funnel. So we're going to click, uh, go to ClickFunnels Funnels, click on Add New. I'm going to use the Classic Funnel Builder just because there are some uh, samples that we'll want to use. Here, let's just use uh, the Lead Gen Funnel. It's the easiest one. I'm going to call this Privacy Slash terms and conditions. And build funnel. So the main reason why I'm choosing the classic funnel builder for this is it's not going to have anything built out here. I can choose any template I want. I'm actually going to need at least three pages here. One Actually, no, two pages, sorry. First one, just choose any um, any opt-in page. It's simple. It's the first one that shows up on here. Choose any one. Almost any of them should have some type of footer at the bottom, which is what we really want to get from here. The next page, click on that. It says thank you right now. I actually want to make this... A, either a privacy policy page or a terms and conditions page. If you go to miscellaneous at the top here, I believe there are some examples already in here. Under miscellaneous. Yes, so here's one for privacy policy. So let's select that. Now you're going to want to do some research on privacy policies based on wherever you're selling products. Just Google privacy policy templates, terms and condition, condition templates. You can find everything you'll probably want to put inside of this and probably some free examples that you can just copy and paste in here. So once I have this page, and edit this, make it say whatever I want it to say. Make sure I like it. You can click in here, edit it to say whatever you want. We won't go through that right now in this video. And then just save your changes. Update your metadata, SEO, all that fun stuff. And then exit. I'm going to grab this preview URL right here and copy it. Go to your opt-in page, or your first page. This is the page that we're gonna actually create the footer on. So you can see there's already one in here. Privacy policy, terms and conditions, disclaimer. This element here is just a text element. So we could simply add another one by clicking the orange checkbox going you could do it with a headline or a paragraph element as well. They've just typed it in the way that they want and changed the color of the text. Basically, since there's one that's already there, I'm just going to use what's here. This whole section could be a footer that you're going to use on any page you want. So I would recommend making it sort of like just standard. I wouldn't use a logo on it most likely just in case you're not using that logo on this on, a, on every funnel. But this is pretty good right here. Name, copyright, and year, all rights reserved. That's pretty standard. 
maybe update the year on here. Then go to where it says privacy policy. This is what we're going to use that link for. We're going to highlight just where it says privacy policy and then click on this little chain looking icon. So we click on that, you'll see this box show up with a little uh, hashtag right here. Erase that and just use Control V or Command V. Paste in the URL you copied from your privacy policy page. Make sure there's no spaces at the beginning or the end. And then update the color of the text to whatever color you would want to be. So you can see down here, it changed it to blue. I like it to stay white, so I'll just pick the white color and we're all set. So if we were to save this, scroll down to the bottom and click on privacy policy now. So it actually takes us to that page. But there's one more thing we should do because you'll see I actually left that other page to go to my privacy policy. We don't want that. So we're going to click on this again click on the little crayon icon beside the text. You're going to see where we were editing it before. See this button here, this is make link open in new window. Click on that, hit save, preview it incognito. Now you'll see it keeps my main page open still. Basically, you just want to redo that for terms and conditions, any disclaimers that you want to have. Create those pages, then come into this page right here. Really, in this, this funnel page, we can delete all these sections. All we really want this for is for saving that footer. Oh, no, nope, I'm going to keep that one. <laughs> That's really all we need. So do that again for terms and conditions. Highlight the text, click the link, erase the hashtag, control V, click the arrow box, change the color to the color that you want. Once you have it all set up the way that you want, save your funnel page. But here's where it's going to save you time. Go to the section itself. So highlight it until you see the green menu. See this button right here? It says save. You're going to click on save. Give this name. Just call this general footer. And save it as a personal template. Now, anytime you're in any other funnel or any other page that you're editing, let's just say you're in a completely different funnel, it's a brand new funnel, you're working on it, you get to the bottom, and you're like, oh shoot, I gotta redo all this, recreate all those links, find those pages. All I need to do now is add that section that we just saved to the page, so if I, I can click on any green plus, line, plus sign, or go to sections, add section, and go to my sections right here, or if I'm doing it from here, my sections. And you'll see it's the most recent one right here. It says general footer. I just click on that. It's going to add it right into this page for me. So it's going to save me tons and tons of time. I don't have to keep redoing this, especially if I'm creating multiple funnels for the same company. None of this information is going to change up here. All the pages are going to be set. So I was saying earlier how you could do it from an existing funnel. So say we had an actual funnel set up here that we didn't we didn't want to mess with the flow of the funnel itself, but we wanted to hide these pages in there. You can add these steps. Let's just call this one T and C. Create that funnel step. Let's do miscellaneous again and get that privacy policy one. And here's one for a basic disclaimer. So again, edit it, make it look however you want it to look. 
Then all you need to do is click here on remove from funnel and you can still access it from this funnel. You just click here on other funnel steps and you can always come back and edit this however you would like and it's just hidden within that funnel. So if you don't have a lot of funnels left on your account limit, this is another option if you have a lot of pages left on your page limit. So basically you do the same thing, grab this URL and add that to the footer that you saved to your sections. So obviously you can use that for tons of different things. If there's ever a section or a row in one of your funnel pages that you really like, you think you could use it in another page, you can use that same feature to reuse it over and over in different funnels without having to recreate the whole thing. So obviously you can save yourself tons of time. Hope it's super helpful. If you have any issues, as always, you can reach out to our support team in the bottom right hand corner of your screen or send an email to support at clickfunnels.com. Thanks guys.